Have you ever been to a really great restaurant and at the end of the meal, they bring you this dessert menu? And as you're scanning your options, you don't know which one to choose because they all look fantastic. Should I get the molten lava cake or the creme brulee? I don't know. Well, it's a little bit like that with this next section. Anyone who knows anything about Spanish knows that ser and estar are two of the most important and common verbs in the entire language. In fact, I'm willing to guess that one of those two verbs is used in nearly every other sentence that is ever spoken. <laughs> but don't quote me on that. In this next section, I'm going to teach you the difference between these two verbs because the challenging thing is that they have similar meanings. And so it's really important that you know when to use ser and when to use estar. Fortunately, unlike our example at the restaurant where we can only choose one dessert, with ser and estar, you can use both of them. You just have to know when to use them.